Question, what's slim, smart, and very nice to look at? If you said Katy Perry, then you are absolutely correct. I'm in the LG C9 OLED. You know that, right? Stick around. Perfect. Hey guys, it's the Villaman here and on this channel we bring you the tech of entertainment. So we do unboxings, reviews, comparisons and tips to help you find and get the most out of the tech that entertains you. So if you're into that, then hit that subscribe button and come along for the ride. You should. You really should. Now what we have here is LG C9 OLED TV that is new for 2019. It replaces the 2018 C8 OLED. Now this TV supports the most popular HDR formats out there, HDR10, Dolby Vision and HLG Hybrid Log Gamma, like this video right now. New for 2019 is HDMI 2.1 compliance, which is a big deal, and also LG's Alpha 9 Gen 2 processor. So let's open this box and see what's inside. Let's go. First let's get these straps off. Always cut these things away from you. First we have unpackaging instructions, but you don't really need this because I got you. Now first up is the bag with the remote and two AA batteries, screws for the stands, or RCA cable converter, and the cable tie. There's also a cover for the back of the stand. Alright, so let's get the styrofoam out of here and so we can get to the TV inside. Before that, we have the front of the TV stand assembly. Well, wow, this is uh, this is slick. All right, let's get this box out. Styrofoam never seem to survive. Why? Especially the ones on the sides. They never seem to survive. Before we can take the TV out, we have to remove the actual stand and don't go anywhere. This feels like it weighs like 50 plus pounds. It's heavy, it's really heavy. So before you lift the TV out of the box, there are a few things you should know. First of all, this should be placed on top of the assembly surface so that the screen doesn't actually get in contact with the surface. Also, these styrofoams on the left and right of the TV should be on the TV while you are putting it on the surface because this is where you actually place your hand so you don't actually grab the screen itself. Your right hand is placed behind the TV on the bottom part to actually do the lifting. So you'll be lifting essentially with one hand. So that's why you'll need assistance to lift it. And as always, if you don't have an actual assembly surface, one that's big enough to assemble the stand of the TV, what you can do is use the box that the TV came in to rest it on top of it with the styrofoam in the box acting as support. So now to lift it out of the box, I will need the assistance of my lovely assistant. Right, so let's get to it. So before installing the stand, it's important to make sure that the TV is at the edge of the box so that you can install the, the stand unobstructed. Let's do it. Okay, so to assemble the stand, you'll need the seven screws that come in the packaging. You need three of them for attaching the pieces of the stand together and then four of them to attach the stand to the actual TV itself. So let's do it. You line up these three holes right here with these three holes on the base of the stand itself. So, just like that. Now there's an indentation right here on each side where the stand fits together. So you can't do it any other way besides correctly. 
and then the three whole screws will line up. Or screw holes, I should say. Be careful not to over tighten the screws. And now the four remaining screws will go through these screw holes to attach the stand to the TV. So when you're finished with those initial three screws, your stand should look like this. So the bulky or heavy part will be facing backwards while the sleeker, shiny part will be facing forwards. Now there are two holes right here that line up with these two holes on the stand. So what you have to do is just slide them in and it will be secure. And done. The TV comes in three sizes, 55, 65, and 77 inches. It supports HDR10, Dolby Vision, and hybrid log gamma HDR. It has LG's Alpha 9 Gen 2 chipset for picture processing. It has four HDMI ports, one of which, HDMI 2, has the audio return channel, and this is an enhanced audio return channel, so it can pass lossless Dolby True HD to your receiver. It has LG's proprietary webOS operating system and supports smart features like Alexa and Google Assistant, which are built in. And a built-in 2.2 channel speaker system with a total of 40 watts power. setup time so let's check it out please press the ok wheel button on your remote Confirm your location and language settings. Navigate with left, right, up, down and OK button on the remote. English. Check. English. Language English. English. Français. English. English. Time zone select. ADAC. Uncheck. Denver. Uncheck. Detroit. Uncheck. New York. Uncheck. OK. Button. This TV is really chatty right now. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Okay, well that's good for visually impaired people, so can't really complain. You get to turn it off pretty quickly if you don't want it. So first thing they ask you to do is set up your Wi-Fi access. So once you select your Wi-Fi network and type your password, then you'll be all set. Press OK to proceed. Oh, this thing is bright right now. I think it's pretty challenging because it's being overexposed and underexposed because the scenes are very dark and then very bright. Terms of use. I just hope they don't want my firstborn. Let's agree. Oh, so they're giving us the option to opt into 
interest-based advertising so they'll somewhat track you to some extent not sure how much of an extent to understand what you're interested in and give you relevant ads based on that okay to enable smart features if you want to go back then you can just bring the cursor up top and click on that and then it'll bring you back to your previous screen so I have a so I have a receiver and my cable box connected to the TV right now in HDMI 2 and 1 respectively. So let's see how the setup goes. So it found the devices, awesome. So you have specific cable service that you can choose what type whether it be a cable box, antenna, or you just don't have any. So we have cable connected via HDMI, so that's what I will choose. And then you put your zip code in and it will give you your local TV guide information. And since the TV remote is able to control your cable box, you can also go through the setup of that also. Since we have it connected to HDMI 1, that's perfect. There's nothing else to do on this screen. This, this screen asks you to select the port that you have. Be quiet for now. So this screen, on this screen you get to set up your cable box. So you select the port that you have it in, the HDMI port, and then you select next. It defaulted to the correct port, so uh, I don't have to do anything on this screen, so press next. And the universal control is in the process of being set up. So on this screen it asks you to check and see if the control is working with the TV. So you press the button to change the channel and if it works, you're good. If not, then you say no and then you cycle through the options until you get to the correct control. But since we're good, we move on. Alright, so first impressions, this TV is gorgeous and thin. I mean, blade thin. It is incredibly thin. So over the next few weeks, I'll be using it as my primary TV and giving you my full review after that. But in the meantime, I'll be creating some demo videos. So a gaming demo, of course, and a picture settings video. So you can see the best picture settings if you uh, end up buying this TV yourself. And just like last year, I'll also be doing some comparison videos. So hint, hint for those of you who know. I mean, it's not a big secret. I'm going to be comparing them to the Q90R from Samsung. That's their flagship QLED TV, so it only makes sense to compare them. And if you want to purchase this TV and also help the channel out while you're doing that, then you can use the affiliate links in the description at no extra cost to you. I also have some new merch on the Villaman store with some original designs, so let me know what you think about those. So let me know what you think about the TV in the comments also. Do you want to get a new TV in 2019? Is this one on your list? Is a QLED on your list? Or maybe a ULED? Hmm. And also don't forget to like the video if you found it entertaining and or helpful. Until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood villa man saying, peace.